the come well packed. Cord minus 30. Now the difference is this is flammable and Freon isn't. But I'll give you the read up about it in a minute. That's what I'm going to be using there. And apparently one of these containers is equivalent to the three containers that you can get a free on uh, 134R uh, A sorry and um, so one of these should be enough to do my van if not then I'll take another one to do a bit of a top up I'm going to swap out the valve because if you're going to be here you might as well do the valve at the same time and I'll take screenshots of this this is the information that came with the container So we're going to get this valve out. I just have a feeling that it's the valve because last time I did this, I left the um, gauges connected to the car for a week because I did the vacuum on it and then had to leave it. When I came back to it a week later, it still showed that there was a, it was holding vacuum. So I was like, sweet, no leaks. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do half an hour today. The valve I'm going to use there. That's one of those guys. Yep. And do the high side valve at the same time, because why not? Better refrigerant oil on the valve. I think this could have been my mistake. The last time I did it, I didn't put any oil on the valves there. Okay, it looks like the high side uses the same valve. And dumb thing is. You can buy Freon from super cheap and other auto stores everywhere else in the world, just not here. Alright, connecting to the low side, you can tell the difference between the low side and high side because the low side is a thicker line. I don't have to build back in now. Now, this is a great little pump this it's only a toy really compared to what mechanics have but it does the job now my compressor is a problem here it's not really big enough to do this job but I means every time the compressor kicks in i've got to wait unplug it wait to fill up where go again my new tank my uh, new compressor hasn't arrived yet <clears throat> and i can't wait any longer to do this more times get down a bit blow on the vacuum so if I had a bigger compressor I wouldn't have to be waiting for that all the time once it gets down it's supposed to have no le no less than 80 psi when using this tool here so when it gets I know that when it uh, kicks in then I'm hit hitting it at about 85 psi and that's why I unplug it and do this whole stop start stop start so it's a bit slow once my new compressor arrives it's got a bigger tank bigger motor and it's belt driven not one of these little compressors that I'm using right now so it's going to be a life changer for me 
Now I'm just going to do this another probably three times and then I'll let it sit on the vacuum uh, and come back in half an hour and see if she's still holding. Yeah, so now it's, you can see the gauge there, it's reading at the 50. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'll come back, make sure it's exactly where it is. And if it is, then I'm not I'm not sucking anything in. That means that you shouldn't have a leak anyway. Half an hour, come back. That's okay. I'll put the new refrigerant in, and um, it's supposed to be colder, uh, have less head pressure, so the compressor runs easier. Anyway, this is supposed to be compatible with R12 systems and R134A systems, so uh, nothing to be changed. You just have the gas changed to this stuff here, and off you go. Anyway. It's still holding the same. So, I'll come back half hour, go have a coffee. Just one other thing I should mention. If that doesn't hold, then I can't do anything more. I'll have to um, put a repair kit through it or take it down to a refrigeration mechanic to find out where the leak is and fix it. So, my day depends on this right now. If the vacuum holds, I'm good to go. Well, the good news for me is she's holding pressure. Or holding vacuum, I should say. So now I'm right to put some gas in her. All right, so the next thing I want to do is, first I want to bleed the air out of this line here. I don't want any air going back in that I don't need. So in there now I'm gonna start the van and let it run and slowly put it in. You don't want to put it in too quick because you don't want too much pressure in the cold side. You can uh, have too much pressure and then you blow valves and you don't want to do that. And I'm just gonna keep on letting the gas into the system. Uh, air compressor will kick in at some point and then you'll start seeing that pressure bouncing around. And I'll keep going until the can's empty with this one. I shouldn't need the, with this case, I shouldn't need the whole can. Uh, worst case scenario, I don't have enough. So I'm watching that and that builds up with fluid and I'm at here about 60 psi as I'm closing it off. Once that goes empty, then I'll do it again. I'm just keeping it set at 40 psi. I can see that it's flying through here nicely. Not too much pressure going in at once. I'm just going to keep it like that now. Close the tap off. I'm just going to let it run like that for a few minutes, just to let the system uh, circulate the gas, so it's all happy before I go put more in. I just checked the temperature of the aircon inside, and it's coming out at 14 degrees. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's just below 40 there. That's about 35. I want it to stay at 40 when I'm finished. And it's still happy at 40. Now leave it. When the van gets, when the aircon gets cold enough, they should cycle through, like cut out and cut back in. And we'll see how the pressure looks. Just cut out in now. Still sitting at 40 feet of size, well, that's good. I haven't used the full can yet. Size one of the 
70 psi, I expected 80, but being a different type of gas, if that was Freon, I would have expected to go up to 80 psi, especially climbing this way, Lee. Yeah, it looks like it stopped about 78 psi, so close enough to 80. Before I go put any more gas in, I'm going to just let it cycle a couple of times. You heard it kick back in. Come back down to 40 psi, that's good. I might not need to put any more gas in, so... Pretty empty anyway. Sounds as if I need to pop my fan belt up a little bit too, can you hear that?